Good afternoon and welcome to Turning with Terry on Monday. So today I'm going to be turning something unusual. Hopefully that's if it works. But before I do that, I'd like to introduce you to my earworms today. They are, of course, Brian at our return. <coughs> Ever Good afternoon, one. everybody. Mike or Michelle, is it? From the Voltage family. Pete from Twisted Trees. Good afternoon. All. And the lovely Joanne Senior, who's our songstress today. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so, wait, today, wait, people, we are turning a telephone, an old fashioned 1920s telephone. For those who didn't know, I think the telephone came out in about 1876 in America, Massachusetts. It was square at first, and then they made it round. Of course, round is nice because we can do things on a lathe if it's round. So I'm just going to put these youngsters in the background and show you what I'm doing. And while I do that, oh. one of the one of them, one of the experts, probably Joe's the best expert out of all of them. She could tell us who's in the chat. I most certainly can. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Is everybody prepared for a long day? Hey, this may be a two-parter, by the way, depending on how long it takes me to get this lot done, because it is a lot. Just to let people know, that's a 10-inch piece of uh, ash. It's not all going to be out of ash. It's out of pieces of wood that I found around the workshop, and then I'm going to spray it black. Okay. Sorry, Joe. Carry on. Oh, no, that's all right. I was wondering if uh, Brian's reference was to me uh, Oh, no, no, no. no. I was thinking about... In... No, no, not at all. Yeah, Joe, no. no. You work away there, there. Just checking. <laughs> So we have Lawrence Bagaja, Mark Pritchard, Terry Barfoot, Michelle Uzi, Terry Hooper, Brian Watkins, Steve Hill, Royce the Boys, Paul Houghton, the Greasy Turner, Todd at Glencove, Woodworks, Chris Dodds, Hodgepodge Woodworks. Brent, Brent B. Cross. Who's blowing? Who's blowing air? Don't know who's that. Pack it in, who's me? <laughs> oh, dear me, Norman oh. Greenwell. This is what it's going to be like today, people. It's going to be one of those. It's just one of those days that you get now and then. So the bottom line is, if I get halfway through this and I just switch cameras to Brian because he's busy working away with us, end of it. That's my Greg Alexander. Hang on, Pete. Michael McEwen, let me finish this because I'm going to be all day otherwise. Clint at Wood Dancers, Eric Winkler, Rex B, Real Simple Things, Kate Shed, and I think, oh, Richard Phelan and Rob was... C.P. Wood Turner. Well, hello, I think everybody. That is, it. that is everyone for now. For now. Welcome aboard Welcome. today. I hope you enjoyed today's session, if you like. My right, first thing I'm going to do is put a one inch stub on the end of this because I want to. Yeah, it's going to go into the base. Apparently, you missed Malcolm Douglas, Joe. Oh. Did I? Apparently. He just said so. I do apologize, Malcolm. Welcome along, Malcolm. Yeah. It's quite difficult when you try to read the chat because it sometimes just disappears. <laughs> well, she's all saying hello to each other. It's hard, isn't it, sometimes? Mm, it does sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Be nice if I had the right glasses on. I can't see a thing. No, oh, I'll change your glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit like when if, if you think you're too blunt, it probably is. Now I can see what I'm doing. Oh, Mick Wolf says, please let me in. I've been disconnected. Oh, he's a tall rag, isn't he? <laughs> Where's he got to find the mouse? Hang on a minute. Uh. Oh, there he is. Didn't like it, my guy. Couldn't be bothered. Oh, no. You've got to be here, Mike. Somebody's got to tell Terry what the shape's supposed to be because you're the only one old enough to remember. Oh, I'm called for. True, but I'm called for. <laughs> We've got Copper Al Wood turning joined us. Good afternoon, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. All right, that's nearly there on that bit. 
Where's my scooters? Where's my scooters? Oh, no. You're actually there, Mike. Are you yeah, still there, yeah. Michael? Yeah. Michael, are you there? Are you sure you've not got yeah, your... Uh, you let him know? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, oh, he's he's oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
The colour of which one round is in. Sorry, go on. What are we What's looking at? This extraction arm. It's, a, it's an arm, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a hood on the end of it, and you, you can bolt it to the wall and um, oh. position it. With the hose obviously going from it. Okay. That's what we're talking about. I haven't got one, haven't tried it, but. I have a. I have what, what I've used on mine, on the hood, on the, on the big. The big mouth, that's not the big mouth, but it's a hood, I don't know what size that is, four inches by ten inches maybe, uh, that came from, I bought from Maxmaster. I have a television, a desk, monitor stand that's articulated. Yeah. Right. I use that to hold the end of it. It's back mm. a bit. It's a bit close. I just got the stand and uh, fitted it on. It's not actually meant for the four inch one, but it works. I've done it and uh, it tilts forward, backwards when it's on yeah. a three foot stand, you know. Right. There are lots of different methods of doing it. There are indeed, Brian. I yet Barry's again have to agree with you. Hiya, okay. Barry. Oh, no, that, that, Barry. That's twice the deal already, mate. You'll have to stop that. Yeah. I'm wondering whether my, <coughs> sorry to be a pain, everybody, my um, YouTube pop-out chat is a bit behind. The la the latest is Clint of Dance, Dance uh, yep. just put Barry. Oh, that's okay. Yep. All right. I'm, I'm up yep. to date yep. then. Yeah, okay. You're well, but you, your uh, brain's popped out of function. Yeah, well, when I had the eyes done, they took away the brain cell. Took and away the best the one. bit, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. I can and, see. Uh, I can see all right, but I can't think at all. <laughs> I was going to say they took one, they took one brain cell away, and the other one's dying of loneliness. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, but if you only had the one away. to begin with, <clears throat> no, you must have at least. Kenny must have two, mate. I think. <laughs> no, no, no. It's pretty empty in there, no, Brian. <laughs> What's, uh, what, <laughs> well, we know this, mate. But we didn't. Yeah. We didn't it's not polite to say, like you know. No. <laughs> Why? When has that ever stopped you? <laughs> what is hodgepodge then? Is one of those calls which you have slate or some other kind of insert? This has to be. Uh, I'm not sure what that question means. Uh, <coughs> Just Robert. check the size. No, I'm confused by that one. No. Yeah. Rex B has a quick question, Mike. What wood turning piece do you have from another turner, and why do you like it? Wow. Um. the measurement here for the spigot can't imagine i had a bowl actually given to me quite a few years ago um and the reason i like it and it's in the house still is because it was the first piece that somebody actually gave me so you thought not a lot out. really i haven't got many friends you see rex so people don't give me stuff oh this is true oh, it's, it's not about here we go mike has lots of friends but, but not for very long <laughs> no, they're not not friends. They're just they're just acquaintances um, <laughs> and you, YouTube colleagues. John's yeah, they're just, friends until they get to know him. John's yeah. were just joined. He says, "Good afternoon, good afternoon, all. What have I missed? Nothing much. Absolutely not nothing, John. Nothing <laughs> um, unusual there, right? Eh? I'm turning, John, but that's not you know. Well, yeah, well, yeah. It's uh, not yeah, worth okay, as we John, said, Terry. And, and Rob CP says, I've just got my new glasses. Hey, Yay. Well, well done, Rob. Welcome well back done, to mate. the land of the seeing. Do you see what's yeah. going on there, Rob? Rob, look at those tool marks that Terry's making. Yeah. Good yeah. Beautiful, before. aren't they? Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Don't like the shape of the base, Terry. Don't know about you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't started making the shape of the base yet. But he, I, he, I, yeah, I think bit, he has. Bit, it's a little bit clunky, I think, maybe, is it? Yeah, a little bit. Nice <laughs> concave base would be nice. Mark Pritchard's got to go. He says he'll catch up later. Terry, stay safe, everyone. Okay, Bye, Mark. Joy. Thanks for coming in briefly. Take care, mate. It's good. All the best. Right. Quick question from Rex B. Uh, Joe, when are you going to turn live and let Mike sing the Yorkshire? <laughs> Never. Never. Never, Never, Rex. I don't think I could. I, could, I don't think I could do it. Oh, that's not very nice, boy. I, I, I had a nice visit from Richard Fielding yesterday. And his good lady way. Um, he says, uh, my wife loves the mouse Brian gave her yesterday. <laughs> oh. oh. There goes another mouse, boys. That's another one gone. Yeah. 
voivy has got out my good list. He says, but nobody wants a two-piece goblet in return, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? Very nice, Mike. Right. Okay. Terry here's Hooper. A, here's a wood. Oh. Uh, yeah, wood yeah, question. Go on, go on, Brian. Go on. Terry Hooper says, question. I have gained two logs of cherry, two feet long, 10 inches in diameter. What's the best way to deal with them? Has anyone else benefited benefited from the storms? <gasps> oh, yes, I've got, a, I don't know. So two feet long a, by 10 inches in diameter. ash tree come down some, my son's friend, and he said, uh, I could take as much as I want. Oh, excellent. So, so what do we think it. about uh, processing that 10-inch uh, diameter cherry? Cut it through the piss. So you've got um, bowl blanks but to leave it at two foot long so you can change your mind and use it as spindles later on if you want to. Yeah. Um, and seal the ends. Latex paint, PVA, wax, whatever you want. PVA is probably the cheapest option, I think. I'm very effective. Latex paint lying about. It is very effective, yeah. I think I've, I've, I've had to water the PVA down a bit so it gets nice and deep. Um, maybe a couple of coats of um, water down. When that's dried off, then I put a nice dollop of meat on top. That tends to work. The thing is with wood, what you've got to expect is if it's got a crack, it's got a crack. It doesn't matter what you do with it. Um, yes. But you you reduce the amount of cracking if you seal the ends. I told you, Clank Covers just said a question. This is a philosophical question. Said if a phone had a captive ring. Would anyone hear it? It's oh. <laughs> uh, very, very, very deep, point. Todd. Yeah, I like that, Todd. It is, yeah. I could think of that. Wood Turners hey, Robert, by Barry has joined us. Good afternoon, Barry. Afternoon, Barry. Hi, Barry. Good afternoon to you and welcome. And also welcome to Mark. Um, I think the chat had jumped up, so I didn't read his name out earlier on. Is this the gentleman we turn on Mark in front of it? Yeah, That's not very nice. Well, yeah. Good afternoon, Mark. You mean Mark who said, Mike has lots of friends, just not many of those friends like him very much. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with the truth, Mark. But it works ben the other Jam way with me and you, mate. <laughs> ben Talman is asking Mark, he says, are you in your workshop? Question mark. That's, that sounds ominous to me. I wouldn't admit to being in my workshop. Are, hang on a minute, Brian. Ben Jalman might your, be close. Are you in your workshop? Question mark. It's just ask Mark a question. Are you in your workshop? Question mark. I just read that. Question mark. Never mind. I just read that. Didn't get it, Brian. Eric Wingler's off. Question mark. Yeah, I did get it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Eric Wingler's off to work. Thank you, Terry and Earworm. See you, Eric. Thanks Bye, for coming. Eric. In. See you, Eric. Enjoy your day. Ooh. Enjoy your Richard, Richard, Richard Film says there's a cherry tree down at the end of his road. Uh, why is this My that question is Brian why is this probably at the end of the road. That, huh? Yeah, not in the workshop. Yeah. Well, I'm right, disappointed. No. My plum tree didn't blow down. No. Oh, uh. Dang. Is that, uh, is that the one that's in the road of your extension? Bit? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> he's not, he's not, in the he's way not of allowed extension. to cut it down. No, Lisa said he can't cut it down. It's not oh, allowed to be cut down. Go on, but he keeps hoping be. that some kind of big wind will come along and cut it down, give it a little blow. Pull it down. And there's a wind oh, on the yeah. way because it's, uh, it's still blowing a hoolie here. So if you want to go and do that now, <laughs> just cut halfway through. It's just, just weaken it a little. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll be gone, won't it? Yeah, but Lisa's here. She, she'd know too. Oh, dang. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> now, she might wonder why you're digging around the bottom of it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michelle Higgins is in the chat. Hi, Hi Michelle. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Good afternoon. Hi, uh, Welcome. Hodgepodge says he stopped at a sawmill a couple of days ago and the owner said to check back with him in a week and he'll have a few chunks of walnut for me. Lovely. Wow. Cool. That's, That's nice. Fun. That's nice. Oh, so Ben was Ben was asking Mark, uh, could, he, could he do him a favour and measure the diameter of the bolt and adjustable feet of his lathe? They're M12 or M16, etc. I think they're M12s. Right. I think. Because I have the same lathe, obviously. Yeah. Whereas my very near is now dirty. Was it well, you want to know? I'm standing by mine. <laughs> the adjustable feet on the bottom of your lathe. They are oh, yeah. M. They are indeed M12. Yeah, yeah, mine are too. 
What do you want, some dear? I don't use the feet on mine. Uh, Terry, if you need a set, Terry's got a spare set. He had to cut a bit off the bottom of his legs because he's a hobbit, as we all know. Hey, well, Mark's <laughs> a special because he's a 10.28 mil, not to be too exact. 10.28? 10.28? Yep. Hold on, wait, wait a minute till I get my uh, very I'm near get, again. I've got to get mine as well, have a look. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> oh, everybody's oh, all oh, checking their names. Is don't that? Know. How sad is how that? How sad is that? You... All the they're, 12, they're 12 mil. It's a 12 mil bolt. Ah. Right, so there's our spigot. That's on there. Okay. We now have to shape this to what we want. Rex B's pointed out that um, only 12 out of the 56 people watching are enjoying oh. this because that's the only ones that put their thumbs up. I suppose yeah. I better oh, go and give that a thumbs enough. up then. Eh? Well, mine are 20 mil. There you go. Yeah, but that's because you have a stratos. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I think well, I think M12 is the common. 12.88 millilitres. Yeah, for the inferior lasers, it's 12. M12. 12.88 millilitres. Go ahead, mate. I was going to say mine is 19.86, actually. <laughs> David J. Heaterson, the Guildford Carpenter. Um, Good afternoon. Hodgepodge is, Hodgepodge is saying... Um, he stopped at a sawmill a couple of days ago and the owner said to check back with him in a week and he'll have a few chunks of walnut for him. Well, I love up. walnut. I love it. Yeah, I do. Nice. Yeah. Especially, nice when it's, especially when the comments mentioned twice in two minutes. It's a nice one, Joe. <laughs> I, got, I got a nice piece yeah, of English walnut yesterday. So I did. Was it the white or the brown walnut? It's white. Ooh. White. I think English walnut. He, he made, and he actually made me write English on it. And you know what, what I'm like? I could only manage to write E-N-G. That's as far as I could go. <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't quick bear quick. writing English. Oh, it's hard even to say. <laughs> John Scarborough says it looks like a sink plunger, Terry. It does, doesn't it? I'm glad he didn't say sink it. plug. Uh, oh, um, uh -oh. Uh, Lewis made something like that before. He, he called it a scrunchie holder. Yes. Well, I'm thought if I ever if it fi fails, I just take the head off it, and stick stick the um, what's the name Cl cloth on it, you know the. What's the name cloth on it? See, it's that's a proper holder. base, Brian. That's Kitchen a proper base. Holder. Clinton would dance of say Kingsport make an end grain sealer that's cheaper than tight bond, and it only you only need one coat. Seventeen dollars in the US. There you go. It's all right for in the US. Don't think we get that here. Well, we have the chestnut end seal, which um, I gotta say is a joy to use. Mm. Um, it's probably the cleanest way of doing the job. Plus, when you go pick up all your blanks, they're not all stuck together. Yeah. Right, design, which I'll do here then. <laughs> ben Jammer says, maybe we, should, we, we need a new badge for our smocks that shows the thread size off of our adjustable feet. <laughs> well, the, the, the problem with Terry is he's got hobbit feet, so they know we're just big yeah. and hairy. So I don't know. Yeah. Just, <laughs> he, need a big foot. Yeah. he needs a big foot badge. Yeah. Big hairy feet. Three, three toes webbed in between. Three toes webbed. <laughs> You're worried me, won't. Yeah. That's not fast enough. Turn up a bit. Yeah. Tom says, Rob, you just need to remember to blow off the dust from the new glasses occasionally. Yeah, that's very true. Y you do. I, I just had to wipe mine before I started. Couldn't see. I think you're right there, Ben. Ben says, is that anything like the one coat house paints that always need two coats in practice? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's very true, mate. Very true. Yeah. yeah. Do lots one coat. Yeah. Oh, look, five coats of that on uh, bare uh, yeah. plaster and it still didn't cover it. Until the shelf comes in and says, that's not covered very well, is it? So you have to do two coats. Oh, thank, uh, thanks, Andrew. Quick question. Why are, we, why are we stuck with Mike today? Wasn't he supposed to be at work? Yeah, I've done three hours, mate. What more do you want? I was on, yeah. I was on by half past 11. He said, <laughs> he said, we don't want you anymore. Go away. Okay, fair enough. I'm gone. Oh, Ruby Claire's in. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Good, morning, Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. How are you today? 
Any improvement in your husband, Ruby? Fingers crossed. Hope you're watching this, Pete, closely. End of this has got to be. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Just thinking you were wrong. You better than that from that, but you know. <laughs> I would actually, Pete, but I'm going. Uh, oh, don't dear. have the Ashley hours on here, so I will get one oh. at some point. At some point, I shall have one. Trust me. The other, the other Canadians, any? Must have woke up too. Lewis is in. Hello, Hello, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Hello, Afternoon, Lewis. morning, evening, whatever time it is over What's there. Breakfast time in Canada. Oh. Four hours behind us there. All right. Well, uh, says everything, doesn't it, Brian? Yep. Robert Dolman says, yes, I should just give us the brush. <laughs> you don't know Michelle very well, do you, Robert? Uh, just, just what? <laughs> give her the brush. Just give her the brush. Ooh. I've just got a better way of doing it. Yeah, you I've say, got a better way of doing it. Michelle does all the painting. You say, what colour? Yeah, that, that's yeah. not going to happen then. And they never make uh, a decision, can they? That, that'll get rid of the problem for at least a few years. <laughs> well, that's that, I think. Is that good shape or a different shape? I don't know. That's all right. Well, nice you better ask Mike because I can't remember that far back. Not too. That's not too bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I have the square one, mate. Mine was square. So for right. those who's not listening, uh, um, Ruby's husband is a little better today, but he'll be in, he thinks we'll be in the hospital for a long while yet. Oh no! And, under five hours behind. Well, good, well, good luck, and I hope his recovery is swift. Yeah. Uh, even though yeah. it doesn't look Sec like it. Seconded. Second that. Seconded. Yeah. Put my machine on a minute. Let's uh, <laughs> put that dust machine oh. on. Great big spider. Hello. A dust, a dust machine. This extractor. Yeah, do you mean your extractor, my fellow? I mean my oh. extractor. A dead spider. There it is. There it is. I found it. Okay. Andrew Oddfellow has joined us. Oh, that's a new name. Afternoon, Andrew. Andrew. Good afternoon, Welcome Andrew. Welcome to the love house. You don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. It does. Lewis, you're taking the mic now. Esteemed earworms. Esteemed. That's us. Oh, that's no. us. That's us. That's Lewis is probably steamed earworms, not esteemed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only he, actually wasn't, he actually wasn't expecting you to be here, mate. That's what he said. No. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't looking, was he? That's true. Yeah. He want to come on if he'd seen me on it. <laughs> Andrew Oddfellow <laughs> says, my favourite wood turner, Terry. Did yes. everyone's house survive the storms? Well, mine did, thankfully. Yeah, and, and mine did. But I it, yeah. did have a box of beer blow about half an inch across the table. Oh, oh my no. God! I've had that ruined it. It was almost yeah. a panic. That's yeah, I bet it a was. tragedy. Stirred up all the sediment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it Could doesn't have, got... have time for it to settle. I hope it didn't get close place. to the edge. <sighs> oh, it, it was within a foot or so of the edge of the table. <gasps> oh, <laughs> worrying. That's almost, that's almost heart stopping. No, we we're very lucky here. Hey, what's happened with this piece of woodwork that we're doing here today, Gary? Don't know. Just sanding it up now. I've uh, decided. Well, uh, have you got a, con a, con a concave base on that? Yeah. Can I, of, can of I have a look at that from the overhead camera? You can see yeah. that mile off. That's a lovely base. Beautiful shape. <laughs> 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 oh, I'll take I Brian. I've lost my pair of scissors now. Well, I think I need a look from the uh, overhead. A couple of beads in there would be nice now, Terry. Now you tell me. No, let's have a look on the overhead, as Brian said. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. I'm just cutting another piece of sandpaper there. So Brian can see hang what on. a proper base should look like. Oh, I don't know, though, Pete, it could go in a oh, bit more, couldn't it? No. Oh. Yeah, it really you could. It could have already. a bit more of a cove in there, Terry. A bit more of a cove? Yeah. Well, you see, there, there, are, there are two... There are actually, two, no, um, it's completely wrong. No. I oh. just looked up. Yeah, um, it's completely wrong. It should be doing. Good what? Just look up a picture be... of a stick phone, and it's yeah. uh, Con... all the way around. Convex. Convex on, on the base. It should be, up to 100%, it should be convex. Yep. This is my yeah, interpretation. They... Right, but... With... No, no, With... listen, listen With... to the words that I speak for a minute. 
the two names for these types of phone are candlestick and oil can. Mm -hmm. So the oil so can has the convex. Base, no, no, the con the convex base is the oil can type. Remember the old oil cans that you can press the bottom, kind of click the wee bit. With with respect yeah. to all Americans watching, they never did in those days have much of an eye for style. <gasps> <laughs> and what makes you say they've improved? I mean, um... so so this has got to go that way. No, I'll be alright, Terry. You'll be fine, Terry. You've like gone faint, phone. Terry. You've gone faint, mate. What have you What have you done with your microphone? I like it. Like I moved it up out of the way. I yeah, like yeah. it like that. That's fine. Oh, it's yeah, doing it like that. I think, there, I think I think the shape think was fine. to accommodate the workings of it. Yeah. Um, this this one's this is a um, non-working one, isn't it? So. This one's a stylistic one done from memory of when you were a boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's from the picture Mike Walsh sent me. <laughs> Which is a long, <laughs> a long time ago. Well, can't remember. Well, I tested it. No, I can't be, but I can't change uh, it now. Shelley's been being cheeky again. Well, I'm not going to change it now anyway. Brian can't paint worth a, a D double X. She's well, absolutely Brian. right. I can't paint, and I get paint everywhere when I do paint. Yeah, now, is this glass or emulsion you're talking back. about? Yeah, it is. Right. So, so Ruby asked. So, what's my favourite hobby creating? Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing an old-fashioned telephone, Ruby. From well, just of a picture I saw a long time ago. I thought I'll just uh, do an old-fashioned telephone. So, it's round, isn't it? Everything's round. Telephone was made in what? 1876 in America. Yeah, the original, designed, original telephone. They were yeah. square. And then in the 1930s or 20s and 30s, they turned round. So I thought I'll just do something like two, that. Yeah, two styles, or candlestick that. and oil can. But I'm not doing it authentic to... Uh, I haven't got any drawings of them anyway. I, just thought, I gave well, you drawings yesterday. Put it like this. No, you didn't. No working drawings. No, no, no measurements. Oh, you just oh. showed me a picture. Well, Joe showed... It's all Joe's fault, actually, Ruby, because Joe showed me a picture of this oh. about a week ago. She said, you, so you should make one of these, Terry. So <laughs> next week came, and I thought, what are we going to do today? Oh, yeah. I'll do a telephone. I can't remember what it looked like. And then Brian showed me yesterday. It looks like this, you know. His picture is about an inch, two inches tall. That's all I could see. So that didn't work I either. just thought it would be something different. It is for me. Robert's, um, I think he's getting the fact you're a bit slow turning this phone because he said, I bet you'll be eligible for an upgrade once you complete it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to turn just a flat piece of wood, Robert. Just a flat bit of wood. You know, stick it on the glue chuck, turn it flat, turn it round, turn it flat, sand it off. That would have been so the modern said, phone, first phone. First phone, 1876. First scam call, 1877. <laughs> So there was a bit of a discussion there about what wax is getting, what wax do you use for sealing the end of the... Uh, this is sanding sealer. No, no. For, for oh, sealing wax. the end right. of a, an uncut blank. PVA like. do. Well, PVA does, but if you're using wax, it's usually paraffin wax, I think, isn't it? Paraffin wax yeah. is usually the cheapest. Yeah. yeah. You can but buy that not. in granular form, which melts nice and easy. That's okay. what I think it's more expensive Richard says there. you can get loads of old candles from a charity shop, Ben. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. from likes is the thing. I mean, that's what the candles are made with, yeah. aren't well, I'm just going to... Uh, now, I'm painting this, so I can't read a Yorkshire grit this, can I? Well, uh, you, you can. Oh, you will paint it, aren't you? Yeah. Well, of course you can. You, um, you can take the Yorkshire grit off with meth, but no, there's no not much point, really. Sign it to 400 instead. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Sign it to 400. So you're trying to say I'm not going to sing today? Yeah. That's possible. Well, yeah. what I could do, Joe, is is I could put some grit on a, a raggy old piece in a minute. You know, just I just get it. Yeah, piece could a... be natural wood, couldn't it? Yeah. Hey, look, it's not about me. It's about Terry. So <laughs> it's not about Terry at all. No, it's not about no, me. I'm not. just doing it. It's about you lot. It's about Toilet the chat. Glenn. It's about the enjoyment, the banter. Well, they're in there. Cetera, et cetera. Cetera. Toilet at Glen Cove Woodwork says the first phone was invented in 1876 and the first scam call was in 1877. 
I just read right. that out. Yeah, we've read that. Well, did you? Wake up, Brian. Uh, keep up well, with us. Well, 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 hey, hey, I'm not the only well, one doing it. Did I go Brian. somewhere else then? Yeah. I must have been away in a wee world of my own again. Hey, look, I've again. done it. We're still talking here about end seal and uh, Ben right. saying he's got to try the wax and that. Wax is oh. effective, but it's such a messy. I, I don't know. I, I didn't like it. By the time you've melted the wax, you've dipped the bits in, and nah, I, I prefer a, a, a paint get, or PVA. I'm yeah, afraid, that's getting get away. It's, it's, yeah, but, it's a lot of but, there's a lot of faffing about, isn't it, with the wax? Faff, yeah. All of it always depends on the shape of what you're trying to wax, because if you're doing spindle blanks that are sort of two by twos or four by fours, that's no that's problem. Not a problem. No. If you've got anything bigger than that, you've got to have a that's container big. big enough to get the wax to cover the whole yeah. thing. Mm. Yeah. I did a few bowls once where I... It's, it's it's pretty dangerous doing it. I poured the wax, I heated the surface of the bowl. Yeah, and then poured yeah. it on so we didn't... So, but even then, it's just not worth the hassle. I don't think, anyway. Each to his own. Each to his own. Each to his own. I mean, I've, oh. I've seen... Um, there's a turner who's got an old hot dog um bamary like is it they call them yeah but yeah bamary yeah yeah um yep. and that, yeah that's a, a decent size yes yeah so you can yeah. melt your wax in that um and that works well but he's mm. got it all set up to do it the, the thing i find with pva is it covers everything large and small if you happen to get a big bowl blank and you want to sort of do uh, do the end grain and what have you you could do it, slap it on, and job is done. You could do everything all at once. I just find it easier, that's all. And it's a fairly economical way of doing it as well. So ben has said once he's used up his chestnut end sealer, he'll give the wax a try. Hmm. Oh, why not? You've got, to, yeah. got to try it. You've tried. Got to try everything. Yeah. I think most people are in agreement. Hodgepodge just said there, has anyone ever tried uh, Red Guard? Type of waterproof, waterproof paint that's used behind tiles and showers? Nope, is the nope. answer. I haven't. So mm. I, I bet you that's expensive. PVA mm. glue is cheap as chips. You can buy five, lit five liters for next to nothing. About ten. Like four pound. Yeah. And then five liters of PVA. I thin my out 60 40. I'd do it twice. Surprise me. Yeah, because I'm Scottish, I'm miserable. You're exactly. Right. Yeah. I don't like spending money. It's, in fact, it's a, almost an obsession not spending money. <laughs> you, you certainly Sid. don't like spending money, bro. Sidley61 has just joined us. Hello, Sidley. Hi, Sidley. Hi, Sidley. It has got up, actually, Brian. Yeah, uh, uh, Terry, I thought it had. The Wix is always get it from. It's 1040 for five yeah, litres. Is that right? Yeah. Two quid a litre. Um, Terry, just to let you know, it's almost 20 to 2. And you've got 58 people in. Thank you. Wow. And, and, fish, and f <laughs> three are watching. It's all right. It's good. It's not bad. <laughs> we're all watching. What business we're done in now, Terry? This is the head. This is the head. Hopefully. Well, meant to be. <laughs> the head, you mean the, spe the speaky bit? Speaky bit. That's the ear old bit. No, no, that's no, no, that's the speaky bit. All right, the this is the speaky bit. Oh, this has to come later. This is the big bit, then. <coughs> Mark the gentleman would tell says, "How's the new autographed skew, Mister Pete, at Twisted Trees?" Um, it needs a bit more time on the grinder because it came away with a twenty-five, and I wanted twenty. I might go fifteen even. <gasps> on the angle. Ooh. But um, yeah, it's a very nice little skew. And 19 mil is a very good little detail thing. Mm. Right. Three quarters of an inch for those who are non-metric. Oh, yeah. I like my little 10 mil one. Henry Taylor. I like that. That's nice. For doing little things. Yeah. Yeah, it, it compromised my, no. my set nicely. I've got the um, inch and a quarter Sorby uh, oval. The inch Ashley Isles um, roll edge, um, and I saw did others. Most of them are sort of half inch, or I think I've got a quarter inch somewhere. So, do you have this, a preference of, of of all of those? 
they all have slightly different uses, to be honest. Okay. Um, for hogging away timber and planing cuts and um, heavy duty use, then that rolled edge is brilliant. The Ashley Isles one. The Sorbies are very nimble and very quick because they're all at 15 degree um, angles. So they, they work really quickly. Um, and the Colwyn Way, it's, uh, well, Mark and Brian, Mark and Terry made me buy it. He said, if you buy that, then you can wind up Brian. Yeah, true. <laughs> not winding uh, me up any guys. I'm not buying one. <laughs> no, me neither. Got Mark in the Colin chat. was um, delighted to sign I it did. for me, especially when I said, Colin, if you sign this, I will take the piss out of um, Terry and Mark because mine's signed twice. <laughs> and he you, said, you, delighted. You've actually got a signature, a, a signature skew, haven't you? It's not really. Yep, it's actually got a signature on it in the print yeah. and, uh, and then you got in Colin's as well. as well. See, there you are. How do you get one up on your compadres? <laughs> got away. Oh, that's blinking hand. I'll drive him out there. I'll get it away. Right. That, the is that the right. handle on the on the uh, the back of the? Yeah, stop? I don't like it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Mm -hmm. It's in the wrong position. It keeps dropping. If it was, uh, what's you call it? Uh, if it was thicker. Uh, tighter, you know, more yeah, of a... Yeah, and doesn't fall down. Yeah, that would be fine, but it's not. It falls down, it locks itself, because it's such such a good lock on it. Yep. That, um, you can't move it, it, locks it You can't move it. <laughs> but it's, and it's heavy, too. Yeah. You know, for us old boys to move about, you push up and down. For us old heavy. boys. <laughs> I think you should put a, a, a worm screw on it, Terry, and use it like a, you know, like a metal lathe, just wind the handle up. That would work. All right, what we got there? We look at the size. Let's have a look at size. It's all done by eye, so far I better measure it, wasn't I? Suppose, What's that? Uh, three and a quarter inches, so. <laughs> Width of mouth opening. I think I'll use my Ruby Clear pencils. Oh. Does that look perspective wise? Hmm. Yeah, it'd be good. That looks spot right on, that. Terry. Yeah. Spot on, eh? Yeah. I, I, reckon, I reckon the thing's about two inches across. Two inches, I don't know what that is. I just did that by eye. But... I reckon. No, it's, it's, That's 50 mil. It's about, it's about two inches to me. That's dead on two inches, that middle one. That's right. There you go. Uh, okay, so... What do I want now? Park. Park just and tool, just, just for my... Using the comparison to the tool rest, yeah? Yeah. So we'll start it there. I'll end it there. Which is just slightly a fraction under six inches on your lathe. Like Andrew that. from Todd, Todd at uh, Glencoe says, if Terry had really wanted to be authentic, he would have used a pole lathe. <gasps> True. I could have you actually done it. that, yeah. Have you ever you tried a pole lathe, lathe? anybody? Anybody have, tried yeah. it? Really? I'll tell you what, it's easy to turn with it when it's going the right way, but it's hard to pump mm. it to go the right way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Looks, it's looks a strange like experience work. and it's quite hard work, so I've gave up on that quick, pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd get one just, just flicking you know, a switch. <clears throat> just to make it yeah. it's easier just to click a switch and mm. just a quick Wait, look at this uh Clinspor N sealer. I don't think we can get it in the UK. Yeah, I didn't think so. Didn't want that one. I thought that we could yeah, the tenant Terry, did oh. you just snap the tenant? No. Yeah, right no. off look. Where are we? Right off look. Wow. That's because it's a piece of soft wood. What, what's the wood, Terry? It's tulip wood. Ah, uh, uh, you like know me and really. tulip wood. Don't like tulip wood. Don't like, no. I don't like it either. That's why I was using it for this. So I, but I tell you. Um, um, what else can I use? 
Les Thor loves it for production work. Yeah, because it does. It turns easy, but turns it's, not, easy, uh, yeah. it's not very good. Don't really want that either. It's really rubbish. Um, don't know if I've got another piece that I could. That might work. Right, start again on that bet. You have to bear with me, people. That's all right. Right. Hey, these things well, happen. That's that's the way wood tunnel goes. That's I right. Could, I could remount him for another ten on, but I, or a mortise, but I don't think it's going to work. So. Uh, I think. <laughs> well, Barry Baker says, just occurred to me, as Mike said, Paul Lith, how much he sounds like Jack Hargreaves. Oh, who can remember <laughs> Jack Hargreaves? Yeah. yeah. Fly fresh in my money. Jack no, Hargreaves that was. No, that's J.R. Yeah, Hartley. Hartley, you muck. No, 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 yeah. Jack Hargreaves as well. Got a, got he a was program. indeed a fly fisherman, yeah. He, he was. He got a program. To, uh, he used to fly fish. or something. It was the, the forerunner of the country vale, yeah. Right, Rob's asked a serious question here. <laughs> Don't get many of them from Rob. Uh, was this piece in spindle orientation, i.e. the grain, I mean? It was. Which one? The yeah, one bowl orientation, Rob. It was bowl orientation. See, if I had a tutor badge, I'd say, well, because of the type of wood and the um, pressure you were going to put it under, that tenon was too small. Should have used different oh, yeah. jewels. Just going to say that. I, I'm like, the only thing I don't like about I don't the have O'Donnell a tutor patch on, so I'm not going to say it. No, but what I don't like the O'Donnell jewels is that the dovetail is really quite pitifully small. Yeah. Um, oh, it should be the record power. Dragon power, Chuck. Man. Yeah, the record power are great. Absolutely superb. Can't can't yeah. speak highly enough of them. Eight, 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 eight mil tenon. Lovely. <laughs> Yeah, no, the tenon on the uh, on the O'Donnell jewels. Um, <coughs> it's quite smart. Yeah. Well, you just put me off the note completely then. What's that? Yeah. I didn't hear that at all, Pete. Because oh, that's had, good. Uh, you don't need to hear it. If I I'm had, doing... uh, the, uh, the bandsaw going. I couldn't hear a thing. No. I like the, to... I'll use the cylinder jewels more, more often. Um, the axe the cylinder jewels. They've got a nice, nice, uh, nice tenon on them. Nice size, rather. Where did you We've put got... my? Uh... Oh, well, so right. Todd, Todd at Glen Cove. Did anybody read this one? Out? Todd at Glen Cove says his local wood turning group bought a fifty-five gallon drum of sealer. Oh, that's so, handy. That's a lot of sealer, and then it they is. put it in the gallon jugs. It was much cheaper that way. Does mm. go off, doesn't it? It is. I mean, if you can buy it in bulk and share it with other other turners, then uh, yeah, obviously you're going to save money. Go for it. Go for well, it. Same same applies to timber actually. If you can. Um, yeah, that's if you can turn up with a dozen of you and uh, do a bulk deal. We've got right, wouldn't plan, it be nice my... in. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, my plan worked, actually, Brian. Well, it did, mate. Well, I said this could be a two-parter. <laughs> it could, yeah. And uh, that was a cunning and devious plan to slow it, it down a bit, Terry. It's 10 to 2 now, so you're all right. <laughs> How, how's the bike, you? I have to ask. He's not been turning much recently because he's got a very bad back. There's the front here, yeah. All right. Can I work? Get that lined up. My eye. Mind it in, see what happens. Probably be miles away. Turn it in a bit. No, miles away. Look at that. Say good my eyes are. More very makers. Anyone bagged any storm damaged timber? I just miss, missed a silver birch bow. Oh. You didn't miss much with silver birch, I've got to tell you. No, it's is, not it, good. is it not very good? Mm, no. It's okay. Right. But I, would, I wouldn't take the time and hassle to dry it to turn it. All right. I got, I got a piece from Richard yesterday, so we'll try, I'll try it. Yeah, that's why, no, I, it's get, okay. that's why I gave it to you. It's dried, ready to go, of course. Yeah. I think that's Terry why I gave it to you. He's having to go to work. Bye, Terry. Cheers, Terry. Bye, Terry. Bye Enjoy now, yourselves. Terry. Right, Don't we'll see what happens hard, with right? this bit. And it's around. Richard says it's uh, good for colouring, and yes, it is. It's very that's good for colouring. That's why I asked Richard for some blanks yesterday that would be good for colouring. Yeah. That's why I've got about it. 
and some sycamore and some ash and some. So I mean, it, it turns okay, nice okay, but it's a bit bland. Um, if you're going to colour it, that's fine. But um, it wouldn't be my first choice of timber to rush out the door and grab hold of. No, but if it's free, you know. Free timber is always good. Well, Doug says his bike's still not good. He had some treatment. I think he had acupuncture, didn't you, uh, Hugh? Nice. Um, and he says it, it, it went, it got better, but it's gone back to being really painful again. Yeah, it took maybe a few sessions of that acupuncture, I would think. Right. Ben Jama. Uh, Question for Mike there, Ben Jama. Uh, Mike? Question Sorry, Mike. missed that. Benjamin, Mike, I find the cylinder jaws have a very small dovetail too, according to Max website. The dovetail on the Donald's is 4.5 millimeter and 5 millimeter on the cylinder jaws. Yeah, but um, if I'm totally honest with you, I very rarely, I, I think the 5 mil makes that difference basically because it is a wider diameter. I know they do the thinner um, <clears throat> cylinder jaws as well, but the um, I just I just find them better than I don't like the O'Donnell jaws uh, for that. They're okay to stick something in between the jaws, you know. Yeah. Uh, a square bit of wood and what have you. But uh, again, it everything is down to personal preference, isn't it? Right, nearly there. Nearly back to normal. So Richard says he likes uh, turning birch. It turns easy and finishes nice. There you go. Mm. Everybody has their own personal preference to they do. which yeah. is the light. They do, yeah. Exactly. Indeed. Good. Don't blame them. Nothing well, is I don't like stone. Somebody else may love it. Yeah. Well, it's like your base is, Brian. Good afternoon, mm. Mark. But like the base of my goblet. Is that what you're trying to say, Mr. Walt? Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Oh, uh, there's something else that I wanted to read out too. Oh, Ben Jamin, I experts have also said they're stopping production of the cylinder jaws due to low sales. They are. Uh, I did say that. Which which cylinder yeah. jaws are we talking about? What what explain cylinder jaws? Um, Somebody. They did it. Yeah. They, not the pin jaws, but. No, not the pin jaws. I'm not sure what. So I must look them up. Cylinder jaws. He, he said. I think he said he got five left. Five sets left. All right. so, that, well, that was a, a while back. That was last week. They got six now because <laughs> they had a return. Yeah. <laughs> I expect their cylinder jaws. Right, see if I can rip this one off. Oh, I was very right. good on Saturday. I didn't actually buy any any new jewels for my trucks. Or I buy think a new truck even. You'll be ashamed of yourself. Pete. Unusual view, Pete. You normally do. Yeah, I did spend a few hundred quid, but yeah. <gasps> did Lisa know? Uh, yeah, she does. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine, Pete. Don't let the same thing. I, 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 <laughs> I bought several items at twelve ninety nine. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I see what the cylinders was like now. Todd has got a question. He's asking how many people remember the party phone lines? You had to yep. listen oh, to see if the neighbor yeah. had already. Was yeah, already we had a party it. phone line. <laughs> yeah. I had a party yeah. phone line. Well, I can even remember our number. It was a three-digit number. It was Porthcall 369. There you go. And that was... Uh, 369, the monkey drunk wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who remembers yeah, well, going through, through the above, operator? Yeah. Who remembers yeah. going through the operator? You had a, you, you yeah. rubbed, That's you what this phone used. That's what these phones do, isn't it? Go through the operator. Yeah, yeah. before yeah. The, you had a, a dialer, you just lifted the phone. Yeah. yeah. Hello, operator. What yes, number can, can I, I help get you? you? Can I help you? So the little, when you lifted the, I know this because I used to work in a telephone exchange. Uh, when when you lifted the phone off the uh, receiver, if you like, 
or on that mm. phone, this phone, when you lifted the earpiece off, yeah. it actually fly, turned a little ball flag thing on the exchange. Right. So it was it would normally be black, but then when you when you lift the phone, it would flip to red. So oh. the operator knew that you were. And then uh, if you if you pressed up and down, you see if some, some of the old movies you see people flicking up and down. Yeah. That flick the red and the, the little red ball back and forward and annoy the eleven daylights uh, the the operator. Get your attention. Yep. I know this because I used to run a telephone exchange in the army. Uh, we still had the old telephone exchange where you took the wire out and stuck it in the hole and yeah. <laughs> connect the two lines together. Crazy. I turned to yeah, go not quite that old, but when, I, when was... I was working abroad, I used to have to go to uh, a special bureau to phone home. Mm. You couldn't dial international from yep. a standard line back in those days. No. Yeah, you would have had to book your book your time on the on the international mm -hmm. line at some at one time. So you had to book a slot. Uh, when I same trained way. to be a hotel receptionist, they had the same kind of thing mm. in the switchboard for the rooms. Richard Fields, uh, right? Mum used to be an operator in the local exchange. Yeah, no, not none now, of course. I don't think there's such a thing as a telephone operator anymore. Yeah. Mike, how deep are these trumpets? Uh, about an inch to an inch and a half. That's probably... Maybe, maybe a little, sometimes maybe a little bit more. On some styles it may have been as far as two inches, but an inch to an inch and a half would be fine. It's an inch now, so I'll go down a bit more. Malcolm Douglas says he remembers cocoa tins and string. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and Todd, and Todd from Grand Cove says Morse code, Ben. <laughs> and Robert said Terry used to turn little boxes to send messages via pigeon. <laughs> oh, that's what you're still doing that. And you're still doing that. I still do that to get my internet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it takes till September for them to get there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, every year. Although I might be uh, getting stitched up in April. But... <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> Maybe a 500 uh, sub giveaway sometime coming shortly. That's why he's putting it off. I can't do that anymore, Brian. I've gone over 500, so. You, know. <gasps> you missed it. Oh, damn. Missed the opportunity. Oh, well. No, you haven't. Not brain. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Fair yeah, 750 giveaway. Nice try. Nice try. You're not getting away with it. Just get the 500 sub giveaway done. Stop procrastinating. Right now, I've got to find how deep that is, so I don't and go Terry, through this. Yes. Terry, Brent Briefroft has said, is Terry going to turn the Morse key for next week? Morse key? I can if you want. Terry, uh, unknown to most of you, I think, Terry is a very accomplished uh, Morse key operator. Very accomplished. 40 words a minute. Used to get 42 words a minute, easy. And I did win the 80 meter world championship back in the day. So, Ref B sort order. of followed that up with Does Terry know Morse code? No, he doesn't. The words were gibberish, but yeah. It's the same <laughs> yeah. It looks good. So. It looks good. <laughs> we used to, when but, we used to train to do it, it would used to have to do, uh, it was, um, used to have to write, tap the words best beef essence. In Morse code, so it was a uh, a dash is a, it was da of course, and a dot is dit. And it used to go da diddle it da diddle it dit dit diddle it dit diddle it dit da 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 dit dit. Best beef essence. How about that? Wow. Just like that. You are just a mine of useless information, Terry. Absolutely, absolutely useless, Michael. <laughs> but, but not too bad fun if you want to get involved. No, know? no, I should say. I should say. Absolutely off my skull. In <laughs> thought, thought, thought the folks said that I may, I, I may have been there for the Pony Express. I, I, I wasn't there, but I remember it well on the Saturday morning matinees watching the. Yeah, yeah. Watching the westerns <laughs> and the Pony Express was in a. Oh, you might want the old red now, wouldn't you? John Scarborough says, Terry, yes. have you got a Morse code badge? Oh, yeah, I've got more now. I've got a certificate. 
It's got a certificate. <laughs> I got an amateur radio certificate, which, and I got that in 1984, just to let you know. You yeah, probably yeah, weren't even born then. Got that in 1984. Richard says, I take it you were in the Navy, Terry. No, he wasn't. No. He was a radio ham, as they call him, isn't that right? An amateur radio ham? Yeah. yeah. Now, this, this, is, this bit has definitely got a concave, a concave shape to it, Terry. Convex. <laughs> concave. Another <laughs> one you can't get your goblet base is the right size. Only saying, right? <laughs> Richard says all the horses. Brian still runs a Pony Express. Yeah, no. That's a bit harsh. True, but harsh. Ben Jarman says I can almost smell those shavings. Well, that's Terry. <laughs> right. Now this base goes like that, doesn't it? Scoops in. There. I remember. I don't remember, but. but oh, what, did get, remember. Say that again, Terry. This bit here. This bit. Yes. This bit. Yes. What are you going to tell me now? Scoops in. Uh, it has a little cove in it, you mean? Yep. Goes in. Yep. Yeah, hang on, I'll try another one. Goes in like that. I should. Yeah. I remember. But I don't know, I only saw the drawing for about two minutes. Well, I showed you loads of pictures yesterday. Yeah, but I couldn't so, yeah, so you need, like you, tiny you, screen, you look, Brian. You need, you need, yeah, just, just a little cove in there. And towards the base of your um, Venturi. Because that's what that is, it's a little Venturi. Now we're to, collect the sound, to collect the sound that went down to the microphone diaphragm. We're getting really technical now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I love that. Look at that. That's perfect. Yep, that's good. That's good. And now you need to put a nice rolled edge on the edge of that. <laughs> what, there? You, you've been waiting for that, haven't you, Mike? That yeah. Way? Yes, that needs a rolled edge, yep. That needs a rolled edge. On the front and the back. Okay. Wouldn't it be nice, Ed? Who remembers that on that? Yeah. Yes. That was yep. that, yeah. yeah, do that, Hugh. That's it. Uh... Do you know Alan Ladd was only four foot six? I think. You mean he was taller than you, Terry? <laughs> and they used to build, they used to dig trenches for the other actors to stand in. Yeah. Or a that. rail for him to stand on so that he looked taller than them. Apparently, they've done Where? that a lot for Tom Cruise as well. Because he's, he? uh, he's quite, he's quite Terry esque. Okay. <laughs> but Roy the Boy says when I was in the army, Morse code was stopped. Yeah, that's only just then, isn't it? Mm. Well, it stopped in 19... Mm. I think in the 1990s, was it? Something like that. I think you'll find that the Army was still sending HF Morse code. Yeah, they still use mm. it, but very specialised now. Yep, only it's very, very specialised. They don't use it as a, a communication tool so much now. I'm working a bit close to this chuck, which I'm a bit... Uh, ben said, uh, I have this right, magic ability to smell stuff that I can see on screen. It's always useful. Sorry, it's not always useful. It's when Mike is what, talking, what all I can say is... <laughs> that's that's enough, of a, a that's <laughs> enough of a round over on that, Terry. Don't get any closer to that, Chuck. I think I've, I've heard that Windows are bringing out smelly vision now as well. smell -o vision is that bit done in it? <laughs> Chris, Dodd is, Chris Dodd has just stuck this one in for everybody to have a laugh at. Yeah. Platform shoes? Just saying. Oh, Platform yeah. shoes were in the 60s or 70s. Yeah. yeah. The 80s, maybe. God, that's way back. That's, uh, that's way back. Well, it's just you lot. It's his room, isn't it? Ago. You go back further than that, Terry. You go back to 1951, big lad. Edward Hot Pants, then. Yeah. The girl. <laughs> More like it. 60s. I thought he's come back with bell bottom pants, yeah. I remember them. Flares. Yeah, bell bottoms, flares. I still got flares, I think, in the cupboard. They're gonna come back in fashion, my wife back in Kipper toys in the sixties and seventies. Everything does. He already has 
Grandad's Kipper Toys. Cuban Heels, uh, Hugh says. Cuban Heels. Uh -huh. Yeah, Cubans. Winkle Pickers back in the still. 60s. I, I have a couple of nice pairs of Cuban Heeled Cowboy boots. Still? Sidley said he thought the oh, earpiece yeah. was longer, but I think he means the earpiece, which is longer. Oh, that, that, this is the bit you're talking to. Uh... So it's being yeah, attached the, to the top. The, the, the bit on the mouthpiece can be anything up to about two and a half inches. But it's okay the way it is there. It's inch to inch and a half is fine. Ben Thomas says, back to work tonight. See you tomorrow. Well, oh, it's 360 meeting tonight. No. Oh. See you, Ben. Oh, 360 meeting, and I've got a live tonight. Cheers, Ben. It's not, not founder members. Hi, Ben. No, it's not founder <laughs> members. It's just everybody tonight. Actually, I won't use 120. I'll start with uh, one, 280. I think just it's that's... all members tonight, as it should be. <laughs> Do they have special founder member nights then? Yes, they do. Yeah. Oh, apparently so, that. yeah. Apparently so, yeah. Oh, that's a bit old. Terry wouldn't know. Uh, uh, Brian wouldn't know, though, Terry. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. No, it's, it's a bit off. Would... It's not that often, Terry. It's only every other week. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Dodd says, I kept a pair of four-inch platforms with six-inch heels. Now, Chris, are you pole dancing? Because hmm. apparently that's what all pole dancers wear now. What's that? Great big stupid platform shoes, do they? Yeah. And yeah. uh, never done that. Yeah, no, I've never done, done that. I've seen it a few times, but I've never done it. I can't well, be bothered. We asked Mark because he is the expert on pole dancing. Yeah, he is. Of course, he is. My wife wouldn't let me put a pole in the lounge for her to try it. So. Well, a cocktail stick would do you all right, wouldn't it, Terry? Would do me, yeah. Hmm. That's all I need, Mike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe short, but have to be pretty thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bit like me, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's very unfair, Terry. I don't very mind. True, but very unfair. Brian, you don't need to assume after seeing it a couple of nights ago. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I watched the the, the uh, pole dancing world championships the other day. It was fabulous. Did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, I of course know. he did. Of course he did, Terry. He's only I know lying. Warp the mind works, Bry. Not sure. Mm. <clears throat> Todd said my next door neighbour was a six foot heel. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about feet and uh, footwear and uh, not character, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's looking quite nice now, Terry. It is. Yeah. You've been quite nice. Looking really nice. Okay, then. Terry, that's right. looking really nice, Terry. Thank yeah, you, Brian. Really, 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 really nice. I think nice. I might go with Gene up a bit. That's all right, mate. It's the last time <laughs> I give him a compliment. It is live. <laughs> <laughs> Be first time, VD. Oh, that's not true. With, with sincerity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> got you again. Don't, don't forget the little holes in the middle of it, Terry. You know, if you're, you're going to drill uh, those, actually. I'm not going yeah. to do, do them on the lathe. All right. <gasps> Off centre turning. Yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. Yeah. Stuart and Gurley says, I think the WT360 only do a founders member meeting once a year on the anniversary of the founding of the club. That's correct, Stuart. All right. But that's you really... Good. I wish you had have said that because that would yeah, upset Brian so much. We were winding him up. We were. He's, Thanks he's for that, Stuart. Every, every week, but he never gets in when it's on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we get we get That's secret what... in, encrypted yeah. emails so yeah, Brian can't email. intercept them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. I haven't been in a meeting for ages because I do a live on a Monday night. Yeah. Well, it's just as well. You wouldn't yeah, be invited yeah. anyway. Yeah, I won't get invited. I do yeah. get invited. <laughs> I've got That's the, the, e I've got the right. email with the Zoom uh, link and everything in it. I have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Have you ever clicked it? Um, <laughs> not, not recently. Because I tell you, um, it doesn't work. Right. That's, a, that's <laughs> the bonus one. That's, work. The, that's the one they it's send up. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it redirects you to the World Pole Dancing Championship. Special one for Brian, yeah. Oh, 
Three people. We're getting a bit. We're getting a bit in, off, introvert off here. Yeah, off. Piece. Oh, sorry. There's a secret handshake, Todd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Completely, oh, I got to uh, find a piece now for. Uh... Oh, it's all the way it's through. Ten, it's ten past two, Terry. Oh, actually, Todd. Brian used to be a mason, and most of us would just call him a bricklayer. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at so far. Look, where are we? Oh, there we are. Not so far. What have you got so far? Where so, are we? Oh, that's looking got? looking really good. What have we got so far? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like the earpiece. That's nice. That's the mouthpiece, yeah. I know that. Turn the side yeah. so as we can see it from the side. Yeah, that, that oh, that mouthpiece might be a bit big, Terry. Well. You know, you told me to do that size. You said two inches. I did. I make it's it mine up. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, that's I know it not looks a good. Piece. That's an earpiece. That's, that's, the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. that's a mouthpiece. Talking to that, Joe. Yeah. That's for talking into. Yeah. And you got oh, the yeah. bit of angles on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Pick it up with the candle. And do you want it smaller yeah. now or what, Brian? No, no, it's fine. It's grand. No, I'll leave it as this. It's going to look okay. You don't need two of them. Perfect, but the but the stand is too small. As you, Robert, as, you, Robert's got to as go. you said, as you oh, said at the beginning, Robert. it's, it's your <coughs> interpretation of it. So, yeah, right. I'm probably going to stop there. Then it's ten past two, and I'll do the rest next week. Good uh, idea, Tom. Because I've still got to do go the shopping. earpiece and the other bit. No, I don't. You've got to go. Oh, you haven't got to go shopping. What's your excuse? It then? To, no, it has <laughs> to do the earpiece and the hanger. Yeah, and the hanger. Yeah. Well, the hanger. Then he has, to, he has to get it all painted or, or uh, sprayed up. Yeah, sprayed up with a nice lacquer or whatever he's going to use. Or... I I got, lacquer. So there's quite yeah. a bit still to do, which we can still finish well, next or next Monday. Well, I'm looking at it's got a dial as well. Oh yeah, well, you're looking at the you're looking at the 1940s yeah, that's, one. No, no, good. That's the more up to date one. That's the 1930, I think they came in. Oh. They, they had the ordinary phones as well in the 20s, believe it or not. The ones with the cradle. They did have those in the 20s. Yes, they well. yeah, did. Only, yeah. only, the, only the posh people like the Waltz had those, didn't they? With, yeah. with no dial on them, you just lifted the handset, yeah. That's right, yeah. Also, oh, Shane, I will be here next Monday. You'll be pleased to hear. So far, then we got that. <laughs> there, there is a god. Excellent. <laughs> Actually, I don't look too bad. That's, that's, looks, good. that's, that's great. looking good, Terry. It's looking good, mate. Yeah, that's looking planning. really authentic, Terry. And what, what, if you're making one of these, you can make the upright, the, the, the candlestick bit, as fancy or as plain as you like. Yeah, yeah. well, it's just my interpretation. The cheap ones are obviously plain, plain but the, the, for the upmarket people, they would have been really fancy. It's just yeah. my interpretation, actually, so I really don't care what others think. Oh, look, the Yorkshire gets in. Oh, the Glen. You're a bit oh, late. Hang on a minute, I forgot, I forgot, sorry. It's, uh, would, uh, Hugh from wouldn't wouldn't have been nice says those stones are made from Bakelite. They may well have been. They are, but I haven't got any Bakelite left. Yeah, so. It's hard to turn to. Yeah. Actually, I hate to disagree. A lot of them were made out of wood and brass. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. That's correct. The Bakelite ones Bakelite were really... No. <laughs> After the war, right? With Bakelite? Not during the war. Yeah, well... Or just that between the two off. Yeah. Take my product saver off. Forgot. Maybe <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you haven't got any holes in your product saver. What 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 were, what were you regretting this piece for? Oh, yeah, just a so joke and sing. Oh, come on, Joe. Oh, there you go, Joe. Isn't that nice? Hands up your pity can be ooh. soft as your face. Ooh, 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 ooh. With light breath, your gritty. That's what he could. Oh my goodness. Glins in. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> See, I said I'll let Joe sing. Thank uh, you. God, you're at, a great Terry. At least one of your demonstrators used grit. Hodgepodge uh, said, Terry, don't be surprised if your phone bill increases for adding another phone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's my <Yeah>. boy, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will happen. Can you text on it as well, Terry? <laughs> I think it's all done by... <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. yeah. He's oh, away from the old Okay. Hey, that's just that's without using the Morse key. Look at that. Look at the shine on that. That's amazing. Hey, that wasn't. That was just. That was straight off a tool and Yorkshire yeah. gritted. And I'll tell you something. That is absolutely perfect. It is. Yeah. Straight oh. off the. That's just. Thank you very much, Rex. Dude and gritted. That was. That's unbelievable. Look at that. And a it is. 
especially with your tool control. Yeah, I don't know how to control my tool, Mark. Ooh, like, yeah, yeah, well, I've heard. Okay, you go <laughs> then. <laughs> no, that's good. It's excellent. Yeah, hey, Joe, happy now? Yes. Good no girl. sandpaper. Good no, no abrasive was used. Much. No abrasive was used except Yorkshire grit in this that's case. It. When you can get a finish off a tool like that, you feel good. Yeah. Right. There we are. Part two next week. That's on holiday. Never know. I never get to finish it. Okay, oh. so I'm, uh, no, I haven't, I'm no, done, I haven't done today. Could have asked. What? Take your time. Take your time, Terry. What have you done today? I haven't put my link in for tonight. <laughs> Brian's going to put his link in tonight, people. If he ever, he's got to make the link up first. I have, I have, I have to go and find it first. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, well, where's the he is. No, you have to go to StreamYard. And then you Hello, have to Lewis. go from StreamYard, you have to say view on YouTube. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I've got view on YouTube, and then I have to go there, share, waste, and then waste the rations. Can, can Total copy, waste the rations. Jump over there, there, and then go there. Who invited there. him in, Mike? Go there. Vote, right. Joe. And Joe, what's your vote next week? We're just doing things. There you I go. That wasn't too right. long. That was, see, it's in now. There you go. Hey, everybody, <laughs> Brian's link is there for tonight. Excellent. Nine Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock tonight, Brian will be doing a live. Rex has just paid me a wonderful compliment. He says, Mike, you are the fountain of positive energy and thoughts. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, you Try the, well, the other glasses. Alf, keys yeah. in. Hi, Alf. And uh, Brian Hi, tonight will be turning an earpiece <laughs> <laughs> and a spigot. It's, to move it. It. it's going to be a big earpiece, Terry. Oh no, let's have a look. What What's he doing anyway? Let's bring them back in and see what they're doing. Yeah, there we are. Brian tonight is doing a. It's going to be a big earpiece. Oh no. I think, I think, actually, on a serious note, Terry, that on tonight's live, Brian ought to turn the cord that connects the earpiece to the oh, mouthpiece, absolutely. which would be a, a nice bit of barley twist work. Yeah, barley twist about maybe three foot long. Would this do? Would this yeah. do? That'd be good. Three foot, Brian. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. I'll be fine. Lewis is asking, is it a live or a premiere tonight, Brian? It's going I'm to be live at 8 o'clock. I'm live at GMT. 8 o'clock, Lewis. Yep. 8 o'clock GMT. Live at 8 o'clock. That's, that's about 4 o'clock for you and, and then off. 3 o'clock for Ruby. Look, this was a captive ring taken on, on a bowl, which failed. <laughs> we can see that. That's a waste but of But you can use it for something. He still saved it's it. It's a big it's bowl, Brian. It's, it's in the bin. A big bowl. Yeah, it's it's uh, 20 inches, yeah. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for coming in today. Those that are still here listening, probably bored to tears by now. Have no, it was, it was good, good fun. fun today. I've started, so like they say on the old competitions, next week I'll finish. <laughs> if you like. Till then, it's bye from Pete. Cheers, everyone. Bye from Joe. Bye, everyone. Bye from Brian. Goodbye. And it's bye from Michelle. And au revoir. Bye for now. <laughs>